It is the day of the armed forces in Venezuela, the anniversary of the Battle of Carabobo, which led to Venezuela's independence from Spain. Those opposing the government went all the way to a military airbase to make their voices heard. I'm not sad, I'm angry with this situation. They are killing our children. They're finishing our country. Enough. Venezuelans are facing a political and economic crisis where violence has taken over everyday life. Demonstrators wanted to make it right here to La Carlota Air Base. This is the place where David Vallenilla, a 22-year-old nurse, was shot in the stomach by security forces last Thursday. The government is going ahead with its plans to create a citizen assembly to rewrite the constitution, a move that will deepen the Bolivarian revolution. But many people here are vowing to fight back. On Saturday, protesters tried to enter the air base but were repelled by water cannons and tear gas. Juan Manuel Olivares says repression has to stop. It is sad to see our military, who were led by our national heroes, killing our people. Officers, you deserve more instead of defending hunger and murder. At the armed forces headquarters in Fuerte Tiuna, the military was on full display. President Nicolás Maduro says protests are an attempt to overthrow him. Here are your children, Hugo Chavez. Here we are battling, fighting in an unequal war within an economic war created by imperialists of the extreme right without any country. They broke the rules. We are obliged to maintain the constitution and the institutions serving the people. Since Hugo Chavez came to power, there's been a civil-military alliance that has given the military control over key areas within the government. The military here has enormous power in politics and the economy. They are presidents of companies and hold top positions. But that is a group. They say there are 1,500 officials in civilian positions. Those come with privileges. And those officials are the ones protesters here try to reach out to asking them to join this fight, which will likely escalate in the days to come. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Caracas.